This is a well, great way to start life. Hello. Sharp! Well, hello, and welcome to round six of the ATAF1 League here at, oh, at Monaco at Monaco. night! And it's fabulous because we had an interestingly good race between well, in GP2 last night. Uh, I can't remember who won, but anyway, I'll probably get the one to do it. Anyway, I'm here in the comms box as always with the one, you know, HLG. And with us again, the one, you know, Skyline. Lads? Bye. 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 Hello there. Uh, we're gonna take comms over here, Ryan, purely because Dom's not in the game and this is an issue. Yeah, this is a. Well, I may as well leave you to do it. So. Yeah. Bye. I'm just messing around with Sorry. some of the settings right now while I'm waiting for people to start their lap, so I do apologise if the stream is a bit weird looking. I'm just trying to make the spectator thing look as good as I can. Yeah, we're, we're getting used to the new spectator thing, which did come out today, so it will look a bit different from now on. Uh, very much improved and very, very much more useful. Uh, I want telemetry and lap data. There we go. Right. So I'm on board with Craig here, who looks to be doing a very, very, very smooth lap so far. Uh, this is going to be a much trickier race for these guys tonight. Uh, not only is it Monaco, but it's <laughs> at night. So... Yeah, Monaco at night is insane. It's... Yeah, there's less grip, that's for sure. And with the changes they actually made as well, you'll see... Maybe you might... Uh, you might see... Big choice of words here, me. Uh, people lose a little bit more grip at the rear purely because of oh oh we've had a retirement already. <laughs> it's a Williams Bacon. driver. Yes, that is one of my drivers. Um, that's not very nice. It also looks like going through the uh, thingy, the director. That's the one that we have had KS outgoing be disqualified. Yeah, that's uh, an unusual one. I've just noticed that on the uh, top left of the D. Yeah. You uh, apparently cabin, blocking the pit lane, so that's a couple of people out this session already. Well, we are still running short qualifying because uh, fall is still broken. I mean, we tested it earlier and I set a 35 second lap round here. <laughs> really? Yes, I set a 35 second lap, nine seconds in the last second. I am the quickest driver around here you've ever seen. But uh, who have we got so far? Brutal Reaper setting a 111.7, so he's a second ahead of the other guys so far, and he's on the Super Softs. That's a very quick lap time indeed. I'm expecting people to get to the low 111s. Uh, so the the, uh, the defending champion in the league is uh, coming around the final couple of corners now. Oh, he's going into the pit lane. Never mind. Thank and you for uh, yeah. that anticlimactic. Oh. Anti Don't you love it when it's anticlimactic? Uh, so we are still waiting for a few people. There are a couple of people on outlaps. A few people still in the pits. Has Dom Which, given up or something with oh, his um, game? Yeah, I think that's it. I think he's, he's done. He, we can't invite him, and as we know, mid-session joining is impossible. And I guarantee Michael won't be starting here this week because fucking it's just one person, and we have two yeah. commentators already. You're just like probably. Okay, like, and plus people will probably want to get a move on because we have been sat around waiting as we are nearly half an hour late, so... We have been waiting for people to do the updates, which was 3.2 gigs, which should have been done earlier, but it's fine. Uh, Just saying, I, I haven't got the chat open for well, the uh, live stream, but I would like to say to hello to the three people that are watching, so hello, I hope you're okay. There are okay. three people watching? I need to open up the chat on my PC! Go for it, dude. Ah, right. V Leafy has just started lap. I'm going to stay with him for the entire lap. No. He hasn't set a lap yet, so he's in P8 apparently, even though he hasn't set a lap. Went for the casino, where I crashed out last night. That's very nicely done, though, unlike me. Completed the first sector. Uh, oh, yeah, that was nice. Sharp left hander. Happy. I'm going to be saying random well, corners because I can't remember wide. the names of any of them. Yeah, I don't remember them. Terrible to remember names uh, as we come through the tunnel. I can tell you that <laughs> we're going through a tunnel, ladies and gentlemen. I think we know the tunnel. I think we can get away with that one. The tunnel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, as now we the come downhill down breaking part. Very hard breaking zone. <laughs> we're very, very good at it. 
<laughs> Corners. Uh, as we come to the section where I crashed out last night in the race, as I hit this one right here. Wonderful it was. Uh, very, very tricky section in my opinion. It's quick, but tight. That's not a sentence I wanted to say. As he opens his DRS, comes to the start finish line and sets the lap time to put him. I don't actually see where he is. Uh, he's P8, if you, know, if you do spectate leave. Me. Yes. Yes. P8. With a woman at 14.162. I would think that. Yeah, not the quickest. I think he can definitely go quicker. Uh, I haven't seen anyone beat Reapers yet, which is interesting. I was expecting some people to be hitting the, like, 111.4s by now, I reckon. Well, we, we had but a couple of 111s last night, didn't we? So it's kind of... We did have a couple of 111s. gone through that yet. Well, we had the same thing last week, to be fair, where we had a few people from GP2 set faster laps than F1 drivers. So, we might see it again. To be fair. As I know, uh... right? HOG. I think we might have a bit of an issue here with HOG. No, the entire thing. Great, so I don't actually know who you can hear and who you can't hear. And the Ferraris are double stacked to the pit lane. Hold on. That was weird. I was already in your party. You invited me and I'm now in the new one. What the fuck? Currently, I got signed into a different Xbox. So I now may have issues rejoining the game. Oh. Ah, sorry, uh, streamers, uh, for this. Uh, can you see if you can send me an invite? <sighs> mm -hmm. I have done a smart thing though. I can't invite you. It's grayed out. Ah. Uh, I have done a smart thing though. I bought up a track guide on my phone. So if someone goes out of corner, I'm like, let me look at my phone. If I don't want corner, that yeah. was that happened 30 seconds ago. Oh, it's to back. This is this. It's a very smart thing to do. Um, as of right now, you're the only one who can see anything that's happening. So... Yes. And we are currently yeah. watching Craig. Oh, Dom sent me a message. If he signed me out, I didn't mean Dom's to do that. That's like... Dom's fault. Oh well done, Dom. my god. You... Well done, Dom. <sighs> well done, the flying cuntsman. He has now officially completely put me out of the lobby. Uh... We're currently watching Craig who's going down to... What's this part called? Oh, it's called the chicane. Right, okay, that's fine. We can handle that corner. Could not to, to back right now. Handled that very nicely in my opinion. Gone through there. Gone through that part. <laughs> going through up to Vascas. I know Vascas, that's an easy one to remember. And the final corner, activates his DRS. Can he make it into the top group of people? Well, he's only fourth, but can he improve on this fourth? I don't think he did. So, Craig is still in. Michael's just done the, the second sector, uh, the first sector, sorry. And he's half a second, uh, half a tenth down in his time when he gets blocked by a Haas. Can you do me a favour and tell me when it looks like Michael is on a cooldown lap? Yeah, I'll stay with Michael for a bit. Michael, who is in second uh, place right now, who's just coming through that corner I can't remember the name of. <coughs> and that, that corner I can't remember the name of. Up into Raskas. Yeah, if you... Yeah. Coming on to finish his lap, I don't know if it's going to just do this one lap. Oh, Michael's run out of fuel! Michael's run out of fuel. Oh, Michael. Is the session not on friends only Terrible. like it's meant to be? You know, like, say that. Doesn't seem like it. Can't join. So. Spectating Brutal Reapers at the minute. 
who did a lap on the super softs and took pole so far and he's now on the ultra softs and he's actually down on his time in the first sector that's a different one from my point of view that is different yeah I mean. I'd have thought the ultra softs would be a lot faster oh cut that chicane a little bit there if he's got away with that then Cody's 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 I'm on the stream, trying to watch the stream, see what's happening. I'm going to have a delay though, so <laughs> this is not fun. He's coming through the final two corners right now. Going past the pen tree. And he's going to complete his lap. Will he improve on his 1 minute seven, one minute 11.7? .7. There we go. Let's see the lap time. He did a 1 minute 12.5. So he's gone slower on the faster tyre. <coughs> oh. That's, um, That's a odd one. That's a new There's thing. Two minutes forty left in the session, just over. And uh, apparently Craig's finished. Craig has got his name greyed out, so I'm assuming he must have retired or crashed or something. I, don't uh, know I have just seen it on the stream. It does say he, he did say he retired. So. Well, I can't see the bottom of the screen because I've got a little blue bar saying how long I've been streaming for and how many viewers I've got. So I can't actually see that. Far I'm down. doing my best to keep an eye on this one, but uh, yes, this is. I can't do anything! I don't know what to do! We're still on board of Brutal as he comes around to uh, finish the middle sector. I don't know if he's on a lap or not because the uh, the gap difference thing hasn't come up, so this is interesting. He activates his DOS. No, he doesn't activate his DOS. He's trying to set a lap without activating his DOS. Is it a one minute Unless his DRS 5? is broken. He could have broken DRS. It's a possibility. And the time has finished. That might be why he didn't go into the pit lane, because the timer has finished. Michael is chugging, Michael. chugging around as the final car left on track. A 40 mile an hour. Uh, I just want to say, though, to really, me. that... Yeah, uh, I can't go into normal... Uh, you can switch to the slightly off the side pod camera. Yeah, via... I didn't want that. I was trying to get the um, the other camera up, um, the one that you could view the side of the car. Ah, uh, yes. Wait, okay. numbers and names aren't on the side of the cars on multiplayer. Um, me and thing, me, 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 Michael was seeing. We were seeing him earlier when me and Michael were testing. So with me, I'm, Michael, I'm Craig, not saying in spectator. You can, if you watch on the live stream, you'll see when Michael came. That I'm trying to watch on the live stream. <laughs> when Michael came, came you can see that he didn't have anything there. <laughs> hmm. Michael <laughs> Sorry, came, Michael. Yes. <laughs> right, I'm going to run through the grid quickly as I can of where people are starting. You got Chaos Out going in 13th, Bacon Yum, JJ Gamer, Mansell in 10th. I's the best. BST Switch, Jemin Five One. Eight, I don't know who he is. Craig Center, Elite Ryan, Digital, Leafly, Michael in second, and uh who got pole? I can't remember the game attack of the person who got pole. Brutal Do you know who got pole? Was watching him for like two laps straight. Brutal you can't Reapers. have missed him. Brutal Reapers, thank you. Brutal Reapers. You Brutal go. Reapers on pole, congratulations, you have a bonus point. Ding 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 ding. Bonus ding 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 could make all the difference, like I've said before. Wait, oh, I can't get it. Is this another quality session? It's, it says waiting for players and I'm looking down the pit lane like it's like I'm waiting for people to come out of the pits or quality. Uh, nah, no, it's race start. <laughs> There's a time in the top right saying race start. JJ was okay. the one who readied up, I believe. It was either JJ Gamer or Craig Senna who readied up first. I didn't it was quite JJ. See. Looking back at the stream, it was JJ. So that is information we do have. And yet again, Michael has explained the rules perfectly fine to everyone. No one has broken any rules about readying up early before uh, the host has readied up himself. So that's nice to know that people are still listening. Oh, that's great. And we're going to five great. red lights, ladies and gentlemen, for the Monaco Grand Prix. And away we go! Oh, I'm not expecting much out of this, but fuck, turn one's going to be chaos. Going round, Brutal Reapers has still got the lead. 
Michael has actually gained a place from BST Digital who falls down a place. BST Switch did gain a place as well from that from Jameen from what I can tell. Spectating on board here with Brutal Reapers, what a great start he's had. He's already got a six tenth of gap from Michael. That is pretty quick to get get away. JJ Gamer. I, I'm not gonna down. lie, my Williams driver here is not letting me down. I'm having to watch this all via the stream, ladies and gentlemen. So I might be slightly behind here, but he is he's rocking it right now. Look at that, he's got eight tenths of a second gap already. Straight away through the tunnel. Going to the downhill chicane. He's cut that corner slightly. I don't like how much people cut these corners. I know it's only two wheels, but that's not the track limits. I'm sorry, it's Monaco. He's still got to take it properly, in my opinion. But nonetheless, he'll get penalised by the game if it's deemed necessary to do so. And V Leafly has crashed out the race. People are casually overtaking his car. I don't know if we're going to have a safety car or what. I don't know what happened. Was Yes, I can. There we go. He has just plain and simply crashed into one. His tyres bouncing all over the place. So, Jameen has come into the pit lane, and I'm assuming it must be for damage. There is a Ferrari. I don't know if you mentioned this, but that Ferrari is uh, looks like it's pretty fun. Yeah, that was uh, V Leafly who's crashed out. Yeah, see, look, this is how far behind I am right now, and I wasn't paying attention. He's, so he's still there. Something. His car is still there. Hopefully they can get it removed soon because uh, the leaders are coming round. And as far as I can tell, the, uh, there's no safety car or anything, which is interesting. I mean, that's interesting considering that is quite close to the track. So... I, that I might have been a virtual safety car though, virtual. which might be why Jameen might pit it as well if there's a virtual safety car. I do not know, Possibly, yes. but we are still on board here with Brutal Beepers, who is closely being followed by Michael. We'll spectate on Michael's point of view just so we can get a few better camera shots of him coming through. Michael is looks like he's starting to close down the Williams right now, and this is uh, turning out to be interesting. I'm also going to turn on uh, tyres as well. That's an interesting piece of information we do need to know. Yes, tyres. It's a good idea. Right, um, I have to I assume really that Jameen has gone off to the right soft tyres, which is the hardest tyre on this compound, uh, on this compound, on this race. Two other people should take him a lot of the way, though, considering. Chaos Outgoing and JJ Gamer have both pitted. Chaos Outgoing, I believe, has gone from the Super Softs to the Ultra Softs, and JJ has done the complete opposite. See what's going on down the rest of the pack. I have to try to mention that uh, Michael is catching Reapers, but Reapers is on the harder compound, so that could be part of it. <coughs> could be. One board of Craig Center here in fifth place. He looks like he's trying to battle Elite Ryan for fourth. But I'm also. And as at the bottom of between, it did say outgoing has retired. See, this is why I'm using Chaos Outgoing has dropped out of the race as well, unfortunately. That, thank you for noticing that, because I can't actually see that far down. We're coming on That's board fine. with Bacon fine, Young, man. who's in P8, who's looking like he's going to try and make an overtake for 7th and 6th, potentially, sometime soon, because there's them three cars battling for 6th, 7th and 8th right now. He could find a way past like I did in the 2016 game in, uh, in another league, where... Oh, I think there might have been a bit of a touch there. there. That a looked a bit close for comfort, I'm not going to lie gonna re-watch it here it, oh that is very very close that was very close to comfort there that, that is my driver versus the ferrari so that uh, my driver needs to be playing this a safety little bit safety car has been deployed safety car is out safety car has come out ah so this will close everyone back up again so you could see well you could see anything happen at this point I think you can expect to see a few people pit then the this lap as well. Like, get some fresh tyres on for when the safety car fucks I mean, off. what lap are we on? I actually don't know what lap we're on. We are on lap 4 oh. of 39. So, what we could see here is... I don't know, it's a bit of a huddle to call. I think if you pit now, you're going to have to put the softs on, uh, which is going to be quite much slower. So, I think maybe some of the back runners will do this. Put, uh, go in, put the softs on, and 
try and go as far into the race as they can. If they can get to the end, it's going to be a very long distance to go, though. But for the front runners, I think they will stay out. It looks like BST Switch has pulled into the pit lane. Uh, where's he? Position? He has gone on the six, Super Sox. So. To the Super Sox, okay. That's a uh, very interesting call there. I personally wouldn't have done that. And Mansell's coming to the pit lane as well by the look of it. The only reason I could think they're doing this, because we did find out actually as well, I don't know if you know this, but we did Monaco earlier again, as I said. Uh, um, oh, I just had a fantastic tyre glitch there. What, you want to watch that HFG, that's quite funny. I'm going to hang on, I will go over these details in a minute, I need to watch this. Uh, <coughs> that was great, that was great, I'm not going to lie. Perfect. They took off the tyres and they were still on the car. Yes, it was great. Um, but yes, as I was saying, you can... Even though we're do we've set the thing tonight, you can still get rain around Monaco at night. So, That's a good point. We don't know what the weather is. If they know that rain is coming, they could be switching to the super softs to get them to the rain. Excuse me, Jeff. Can you uh, please tell me uh, what the weather's going to be like, please? It would be great. This is the one thing I think they need to add to the UI. This this UI so far, great. It's I would like to point out as well, I've just changed the uh, spectator thing. Lovely feature this is, well done Cody's for doing this. Everyone from 7th to 1st has not pitted, and 8th and 9th have pitted once. Jameen and JJ have already pitted twice. Yes. So, I think, as I said, I think the front runners are just going to stay out. They're uh, going to go to that one-stop strategy as long as we don't get rain, which, if they're staying out, I don't think we are. Just, wanna, just looking at some of these details at, at the moment. Brutal Reapers and Michael have stated that they are. Digital has gained one place. Elite Ryan has gained one place. Craig Center has gained one place. Fifth place. Uh, Eyes the Best has gained three to get onto sixth. And Bacon Yum has gained five places to get to seventh so far. There's other people. So I have a grid. driver in first and seventh. I can agree with this. Jameen has been the uh, big loser so far out of everyone, unfortunately, who has lost three positions so far in this race. He's been a big loser, but not as big of a loser as those two that have uh, retired. Yeah. Thanks for the man from last night. Hey, Judge, you well, I didn't finish at all. Yeah, it's all right, mate. I retired before you did, so it's fine. Coming through the tunnel, looking at some of these cars, though, now as he getting the chance to look at like what some of these cars truly look like is yeah it's decent i think it is a good job yeah i would say they've done a good job that's for sure it's i'm on board with xl mansell have... who is also a house driver with me i'm rooting him on but he's not doing that well at the minute i mean he's still on the track and he's still driving so in that regard i'm very and happy he's still in JJ. points and oh, not jj mansell so... sorry yeah, he's still in points, so I mean, he's doing better than uh, than I did, and you did. I'm so. expecting more than one safety car though tonight, ladies and gentlemen. More than one? Oh, for sure. We should have had about 20 last night, after last night's league race, well, during last night's league race, but safety car was broken, so... Was, was, was broken. We're hoping it's fixed for tonight, hence why we're running it, because <laughs> they did say they did fix it. So... We can only hope. Why don't I get rid of the UI? Uh, what does that do? Oh, that gets rid of everything. Oh, I don't want that. that yeah, that gets rid of everything. This is the corner so, I crashed on last night. That corner just there, that right-hander. Straight into the casino. At all. Yeah, you decided that you were going to stop the car and uh, make some bets. Yeah. I, uh, I quickly ran in and I said, Hello, I bet that IDG Scaldon will crash out the race. Okay. Yeah, I crashed out the race! Woohoo! So I, I wouldn't that I wouldn't bet for me enough. Yeah, funnily enough, you did. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> it's still a good thing I went into car. the uh, casino first. I went into Lux. the casino first, mate, and I said that you're gonna you're gonna crash out at casino, and they were like, "Oh, you're mad! What are you talking about?" And you did. So <laughs> very uh, specific, uh, specific corner, fucking words. Right. Yeah. As we're still on the safety car here. I'm not entirely sure why we have safety car looking at this. To be fair. Oh, it normally says out for like three, well, it's saying out from anywhere from one to like five laps, I believe. So, here it goes, it's coming in. On board of Brutal Reapers. 
with the safety car coming in this lap. We're getting ready to go underway again. Buta Vipers is slowing down the pack. An absolute tree. Probably because the game is handling them too. Because hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I know we're about to go in it. Do we see anyone do a barrel roll? Uh, I don't think so, but there is a Mercedes trying to go side by side with uh, a Sauber. A Sauber of Michael. DRS has been enabled apparently. You know, I didn't realise that happened straight away. I always thought it. Uh, oh, disabled again. Um, Never mind. But anyway, we're coming up to turn one and Brutal has had a fantastic start. Gained nearly a second off the V start already of Michael. Wow, that, that was, was a fantastic. great start there. That was a great start, yeah. Agreed on that. He's just pulling and pulling and pulling away from Michael. I'm actually surprised Michael didn't pit on the ultra softs because them tyres must be a bit worn out at this stage. Because they'd have done at least nine laps because he'd have to have done eight laps in this race and his qualifying lap. So they, they probably uh, seen see, better days I at this point. They would have seen better days, but I think if he had pitted under the safety car, he would have still had to have done another stop after that pit. So. But Maybe if he did do another stop, he might stop. be able to keep up with Brutal if he could overtake the traffic. Yeah, that's the thing. You've got to overtake the traffic, and it is Monaco. Not the easiest track to overtake on. I'm just saying, Jamina's has also lost 23 seconds off the V-start. The lonely, lonely car ah. at the back, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I mean, he may be lonely at the back, but if he survives and someone else does go out, he is guaranteed points. So... As the best has had a bit of an incident here. As you can see, he's going slowly around the track. Broken front wing, I'm in, and I'm assuming a puncture as well, because he's going that slow. And off into the pits he goes, and he is now dropping places. Probably dropping another point. He's now gone to the Super Soft tyres after using the Ultra Soft start off with. Back on board with Brutal Reapers, but who's actually just pulled away an absolute treat from the So let's see if we can find a battle or let's go in. Bacon Yum is making a move on Craig Sender by the look of it. Coming into the downhill um, hairpin. He's he's getting there for a move. You'll see who I mean in a minute. That he's getting ready for a move. But he's not quite Yeah, I'll we'll see who yet. you mean in a minute. I'm currently watching the pit stop of Eyes the Best, so a little bit behind. Bacon Young is probably going to high up a move down here. Will he make a move? No. no he's not quite got there yet. Craig Center defending quite wide there. <laughs> like he, he made his car look very, very wide on that then. Well, this is one of those tracks where overtaking isn't easy and defending can be quite easy. All you really have to do is try oh, and contact! position your car contact! There's been a simple. crash! Bacon Young has been taken out. He, he went for a move too no! soon on Craig. He should not have done that. Unlucky Bacon Yum. No, not Bacon Yum. Not that my was driver. his own fault. I did not see anything in that. Racing infant, oh I think, God. in my opinion. Shit. There's four cars in the pit lane at the minute, which is Switch, Mansell, Craig, and Bacon Yum. Craig has gone on to the side. Oh, Bacon Yum's still going then? Yeah, Bacon Yum's still going. Bacon Yum has also right, gone on to the fine. soft tyres. As long as, as he's still there. Switch is on oh, the super soft, yeah. Mantle's on the super soft, Craig is on the soft, and Bacon Yum is on the soft. Okay, so that got escalated quickly. I wouldn't really say it's his fault either. I think he just got a slightly better drive through the corner. And it just yeah, well, he, he should have backed off a little bit, in my opinion. Like, There's no way he was getting moved on the... Yeah, it's unfortunate, but at least he's still going. Michael is still nice. right behind Brutal Reapers here, only behind him by about eight tenths. So, Brutal did have a good getaway, but he's not really seen to pull much of a gap since. But he might be, although he's within the second, so maybe he's struggling a little bit on those super softs now. Like, that could be it. Maybe they, uh, when they cooled down during the safety car, he just couldn't quite keep him in the temp to keep him uh, great for the, the restart necessarily. I think oh, if there's been a safety second, car again. Control. I'm assuming Another we have the car. safety car glitch because no one has retired. And this is great. Oh, this is not good. If we do have the safety car glitch, we may have to make a call. Which people might not be happy with. But unfortunately, we're on what? Lap 10? If it's happening already, that's a long race ahead. Hopefully, though, if they are going to do something about it, they will do something about it as soon as possible. 
So then we're not having to sit here for another four or five laps just for the safety car to come out yet again afterwards. I think that's when we'll get the true thing of whether we have got the safety car glitch. If it goes in this time and comes back out for no reason, I think that's when we will definitely know. So. I think that's what has happened, to be honest. I mean, no one's crashed out. The last person to have crashed out was KS outgoing, and yeah, that was still got 11 drivers. Unless they, unless they brought it out for debris, which is a possibility, but I don't know. It is a possibility. Brutal Reapers has come into the pit lane. And Michael takes over the lead of the Monaco Grand Prix. I would have pitted personally if I was Michael. If I saw Brutal going into the pits, I would have followed him. I don't know. I, it's a tough one to call. It depends on how much longer Michael thinks he can go on those tyres. Because you have to remember, again, <laughs> this track is not easy to overtake on. So if he was just following again, he could struggle to get past. But then we're on the safety car, so he basically could get a free pit stop here. I've just seen on the uh, timing board that Brutal Reapers has gone on, on to the ultra soft, so I'm assuming he's going to try and go to the end at this point. I would assume <coughs> so, yes. Uh, it's still quite a distance to go on those ultra softs, though. But, uh, yeah, this race has been an odd one, to say the least. Like, we've got people that have done three stops already, the likes of JJ Gamer and Jameen, who have all done three stops, and Bacon Yum, who has done two. Which is very interesting, in my opinion. Then at the front, you've got B BR Mr. Michaels and BST Digital that haven't made a single stop. This makes you think, uh, what are you doing, you mad... I know I'm behind a little bit here, but has Switch made a pit? Because... Switch has he's a pit sat ahead of Reapers. Yeah, he has made a pit stop. So he said he sat ahead of Reapers. This could cause Reapers to not make the most of these tyres on the safety car restart. Um, and yeah, if Switch was there ahead of him, on the ultra soft, with Switch being on the super soft, I mean, Michael could gain from this if uh, Switch can come up a little bit. Whoa! What the fuck just happened there? There's been a crash. JJ has crashed. Thing. I'm I waiting for the stream no to catch up here to find out. Was... Oh no, pit lane, not the people. All I saw was people falling down the pack and I was like, wait, why are people overtaken? And I was just like, oh wait, yeah, the pit's up. Ah, okay. So that's JJ and I's the best that have come into the pits. JJ making his fourth stop this race so far. <coughs> If that's just not for something wings, you want to be I'm hearing. I'm pretty sure that team has been out for the wings at this point. All they must be doing now is just getting some duct tape and duct taping their wings back together just to get them to the end of the race. Oh, this pack has closed very up, uh, closed up very much then. There were some cars touching, I think, from what I could see on that uh, replay there. I don't know if you spotted that when you were on it. I've noticed it a few times, you'll see it again when they come out the tunnel, they went down the hill and they nearly touched again. All four of them cars that were up there. They're being very close considering, and I don't think we do we have safety car going in, possibly. If safety car's going in, that might be why they're so close, but... No, it's not going in, it's still got the yellow light flashing on the top, it is still... That's true, yeah, actually, I didn't realise that, so... They're driving quite dangerously, I know it's Monaco and it's not an easy track to sort of get a gap. BST what? switch has gone into the pit lane. <coughs> okay, He's there you go. So that will open Reapers back up again. Yeah, He's but that will open. That That's true. Uh, but this will open Reapers up again. So Reapers can try and make the most of these tyres off the restart. If he can get past Digital, then he's on the tail of Michael, who hasn't pitted yet. So. BST switch has come in and he's fitted the soft tyres and he's put that pit exit by the look of that a little bit there. But now he's going to try and race softs. around the track That's as fast as he can. That's an interesting decision at this stage. What? The the softs at this stage are an interesting decision. I'm not going to lie. I think he, he could have gone on to another set of... Uh, I mean, what's he been on? He's been on... I don't actually know what he was on. Ultras? Is he on Ultras? Who's this for talking about switch? 
yes. He's been on all oh, the ultra softs, the super softs, and now he's on the softs. So he would have had another set of ultras, if I'm not mistaken, or at least another set of supers. So I'm surprised he went onto the softs at this stage of the race. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised as well. And he has been disqualified from the session. Oh. Uh, go to the race director and have a look at that then. See what it says he's been done for, I suppose. He has been drive through plus di disqualification. Oh lord, he hasn't had oh, the best of races. Lap two, warning. Lap three, warning. Lap four, drive through. Lap eight, penalty plus warning. Lap 12, two penalties. Oh. 13, stop go penalty. And that lap he went out on drive through and disqualification. But if I'm not mistaken as well, we are underway racing again with Michael leading the pack. And I, had, I do apologise, I did miss the safety car restart there, but that was a very, very weird situation. Oh, if we do get another moment, I do have points somewhere. So if we do get another moment of safety car-ish, I can go over points, but we shall see what happens. Yeah, we can do. It does look like that BST Digital is defending from Brutal Reapers at the minute. The, the uh, Mercedes versus the Williams, this is going to be nice to see. Brutal Reapers went round the outside beautifully there. Wow, what an irritate Brutal. He's got up into second place, trying to close up on Michael, I'm assuming, now. <coughs> I'm, I'm waiting to see this overtake myself. Is it the see this myself in the tunnel? Right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. I'm coming up to the tunnel now. Unfortunately, this delay is killing me. I want to see this action on the spot. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Side by side, gets that pass nice and easy. I like that. It was a very good move. Elite Ryan has gone into the pit lane as well, from what I can tell. And Craig Sen has gone into the pit lane again. So uh, people are getting a lot of damage by the look of it today so far. It does look like that. Here's the thing. What is Michael's strategy at this point? He hasn't pitted. He has Reapers now chasing him down on a newer set of tyres. I don't know what the strategy will be. I don't think there's a lot he can do to keep this lead. I know that we've still got Digital to pit, so he could still fight for second possibly if they can pull a gap on, on Mansell in fourth. But uh, it's these two are under an interesting strategy, that's for sure. We're looking at a little bit of a battle between fourth, fifth, and sixth here, and kind of seventh who's at the back of the, uh, the group a little bit, all battling it out. All on well different strategies. You got Mansell on the super softs, making Yum on the super softs, and Jamin right in the middle of it all on the softer tyres, keeping up quite well with Man Mansell because Mansell is not a slow driver. <laughs> so this could be... He's not a slow driver, but uh, from the information I have here, he, that I've had from him, he, he's uh, like most people, but as he's definitely stated it, that he is not a big fan of this track. It's one he does struggle at, as far as I'm aware. Michael so... has gone into the pit lane. Here he goes. So that's Michael box. in. What does he go on to? He's on the super soft tyres, but he's currently in P7. That's a lot of traffic to fight through. P8 now. P9. Yeah, see, this is a lot to fight through. This is, yeah, this is a lot to fight through. He is second I think if you pit on the safety car, he would have still been in second. Mm. So I think if, he'd got, if he should have gone in on the safety car, if you ask me, he would have still been sat in second and possibly still sat behind uh, Reapers. There's been contact, contact at the downhill hairpin. And it looked like there that Bacon Young got quite a bit of damage on his car. Actually, looking at this replay quick, quickly, unless the, the game is having a fit, hissy fit, Reapers is now in seventh. Yeah, Reapers is in seventh. Still, right now as well. Oh, okay, we come back. So, so has he done another stop or what? Michael's crashed! Michael is out of the race! Michael has crashed his car. He's Michael's crashed is out. I might get him in to help you commentate the live chicane. action here. He's, take, he's crashed uh, his car. That it. could be another safety car already. I mean, not long, just had one. I think it is because I'm spectating on board of Digital, who's on the opposite side of the track, and the yellow flags are out. Safety car. I can see the safety car. Yes. 
Safety car I'm is gonna out. And get... I'm going to hand you over to HLG, who's going to go through the championship standings as it stands. Yes, I'll go through the championship standings, then I will give a Michael an invite and uh, see if he can help you commentate the live commentary. But as we have the standings so far in our leader, uh, with a 13 point gap at this point is uh, BST Digital. So he can score good points here. He will keep that good uh, the good gap. But Michael's out, so he won't catch him. And therefore, and that leads us on to second with Michael on 41 points. So as long as Digital uh, doesn't crash, crash. Like my English, uh, he will gain <laughs> a good distance there. Then in third we have uh, have Vincent, who's not here tonight. So be no points gained from him unfortunately in fourth you have eyes the best on 24 points so that's a 10 point gap to third uh and we're currently he's sat in fifth so he won't quite make that gap up if he stays in the position he's in then fifth have closely following eyes the best elite ryan with 20 points uh which is not a very, very big gap at all. I do want then to say real quick that we have four to... cars currently in the pit lane. That's, right. Uh... Interesting. <laughs> That's definitely mixing things up Interest. a little bit. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised here. Uh, but yes, as I was saying, in sixth, two points behind Elite Ryan is, is uh, Brutal Reapers 18, which if I'm not mistaken, Elite Ryan's not here tonight, is he? No, yeah, he is. Uh, no, he is here. He's currently sat in second. So if Bruno <coughs> Reapers can beat Elite Ryan in this race, then that should give him that position. Uh, oh, yeah, so joint sixth with Brute Reapers uh, on the 18 points is Craig Senna and Conman, who Conman is not here tonight, so he will lose out a little bit there. Then in ninth, you have... The man has been disqualified today of BST Switch on 15th, on 15th, on 15th, I'm doing so well at this. <laughs> then rounding out the top 10, one point behind him is KS Outgoing, who is also out of this race. So there'll be no gap uh, gaining there. Then we have in 11th on 10 points is JB Racer. In 12th, you have XR and Mansell on Two points. So, uh, looking at his position so far, he should gain a good amount of points, push him up a little bit here. And then joint with him is Sonoj. I probably pronounced that wrong. My... Yes, there you go. Who is also on two points. And then anyone else you see is uh, currently sat on zero points behind those lots. So, still some drivers to score points in this league. Well, hopefully uh, they will soon. If they haven't scored any points so far, hopefully this could be a race for them to at least get a few decent points. Yeah, some, <clears throat> some points here would... Well, at points here is just is good because you can say you finished Monaco and you scored some points. You'll have people not finishing. At least it's something you can put on your record for the season. So, uh, if we look at the team standings then, so leading in the teams is Mercedes on 69 points, followed also by Toro Rosso. Uh, yeah, they are, well, well, one of them is leading this race anyway. Uh, yeah, so in second you have Toro Rosso on 54 points. Then in third, then in third, ladies and gentlemen, you will n probably never see this in real life, ever. But thanks to Equal Cars, they have managed it. You have Sauber on 41 points. The safety car is coming in this lap, by the way. Just letting you know. Uh, well, okay. Well, we'll continue the points then once the safety car restart has happened. See if anything interesting happens. Uh, where am I? I'm up to fourth. Digital we'll is leading second. the pack across the final sector of Monaco. Can he get a good start like others before him have done as well? It looks like he's got a good start there. He's got Elite Ryan and Brutal Reapers right behind him. But will they be able to overtake him or will he mess up? It looks like it's been a clean getaway and he's got a 7 tenth gap straight away from the start. Not quite as good as what we saw Brutal do, but still a gap nonetheless. 
A gap is a gap. Is there anyone closer behind him, maybe? Maybe looking to overtake? I know you behind I'm looking at Brutal third now, who's close. in third. Third and second are battling quite heavily. Oh, Brutal's cut the corner like an absolute Jehovah. What was he doing there? Okay, That's that good. Uh, I haven't seen it yet, but if it was that much, he's gonna. Uh, he's probably gonna have gained a penalty from that, which he's gonna need to gain that gap quickly on those guys behind. I mean, he wouldn't have gained an advantage from it, but it was definitely a corner court. I. I still maybe he might he might have got a penalty from that. I mean, you could check, but there's no point. We'll keep an eye on the action for now. Well, Brutal is still stuck behind Elite Ryan. We're, we're in a helicopter view, which looks quite nice at the minute, and it looks like Brutal. I do like that camera. A bit. That camera is. Brutal very has had to nice come into the fact. pits. I might have been right. He might have had a bit of a crash just there. That'd be unfortunate indeed. But Jamin is currently closing down on XR Mansell. Coming into turn one, they are very close to each other. This could be an intriguing battle. I've never seen Jamin race. I don't think on Jamin or whatever. It is interesting to see what he can do against the likes of the Formula One community for a long time. Personally, and he's, been, he's always been a solid driver. I don't want him to get overtaken personally either, because he's a Haas, which is my team. But yeah, unfortunately, my team doesn't look to be doing too great at all of a sudden in this race. But your Haas driver is currently up there, which is uh, he's actually currently in third. So yeah, that's what we're that's the battle we're spectating, third and fourth. I know. I'm... Oh, he spun it! Yeah. My my teammates put it in the wall. Uh, oh, that's not good. Now he's doing you. donuts in the uh, in the little runoff area. Uh, he'll have damage from that, so he's gonna have to come into the pits. With Brutal Reapers yeah, right nice behind him, who's going to take that what, what, fourth, uh, fifth place straight from him. Uh, That's rather unfortunate for him. DRS has been enabled, but there's also yellow flags in Sector 3. Oh, Mansell stayed out, but JJ has come into the pit. Also in the house. I don't ah. know why JJ's in the house, but sure. JJ in the house has come into the pit lane. I don't know what buttons I'm pressing. So there it's interesting that Mansell stayed out. It is. He's got damage. He clearly got damage. But he's decided yeah, I to saw, say, I saw I'm going to be fine. Wing come off. You know, oh, he's hit the, the back of off uh, Mansell there. Oh. I just realised that this is our two drivers battling here. So we, this is, oh. Oh, the, they've just, he's gone for an inside move on the hairpin. That oh. did not look good. Oh. He's still there! Be careful, guys! We don't want another retirement in this race. Williams is sat right behind the Haas. Can Mansell make it around he this is. corner? And as he survived this time, he's gone a bit deep. Oh, he's made it, though. He made that quite nicely, considering he, I thought he went a bit deep there. No, but the Williams is, is still hunting him down. Battle between these two. He's got a dildo, and he's ready to penetrate. That, I mean, we're not looking at the previous cars here, mate. Come on. Safety car has been deployed again. Safety car is again. back out on the track. Brutal has decided to say, to say I am there's a reason for it. it. Yeah, I would love to say there's a reason for it, but I don't see there being one. Well, Man uh, Mantle had that crash and spun the car. I'm not sure if there's just a delayed safety car, because it is a possibility. Possibly, but that is quite a delay on that safety car. It is a bit of a delay, oh, but, but we are at the front with out. Digital again. <sighs> front yeah, he's going to be upset. He pulled a, he's going to be upset about this because he uh, he pulled a gap and now he's going to have to do it all over again. If people say they want to restart from tonight, I'm just going to be like, no, just leave it. It's Monaco. It's one race. Don't restart Monaco because people are just going to get pissed off again. <laughs> we'll just turn off the safety car for the next event. And it looks like the safety car is not. Herodes, I'm disappointed in you. I believed in you that you sorted it. And... Yeah, it is rather a shame here. But as they are all regrouping up under the safety car, we will finish the team standings. So, as I was up to, we Selber on 41. Then in fourth, you have Ferrari on 24 points. So a bit of a gap there. It does... Uh... 
does jump a little bit. Then in fifth place, you have Renault on 20 points. Then closely following them, the team that is currently using their engine, Red Bull, on 19 points. Then again, very closely following them, Williams is on 18. I have just had a message from Michael here. That should... Uh, okay. Have a look at that in a minute. Um, Send me a message as well. It was yes. just a bunch of crying faces, and I was like, oh, Michael. <laughs> oh, right. He's just, yeah, Michael's just saying that that should be enough evidence for Ryan not to use the safety car again. Well, we trusted Cody's here. So. Yeah, we trusted yeah. Cody's. So, They've let us down, but. Hopefully, they sort it. Yeah. Rather unfortunate. Uh, but. <sighs> it just means next time we won't use it. Uh, yes, so as I was saying, Williams was in 7th with 18, then in 8th you have McLaren on 14 points. Then in 9th you have Force India on 10 points. Then the last team to have... No, in fact, why am I saying the last team to have points? All teams have points, there's only 10 teams in F1 now. I'm a fucking idiot. Yes, so, in last, in that 10th place, is Haas. They have scored 2 points. Yeah. Like a boss! Your team are doing so well. I mean, at least, I suppose, at least we've now got drivers turning up for us, which we didn't before. So. Also, so though, it is a nice so to see a that my, um, my, my rival from last season on the previous game, Elite Ryan, is uh, leading the pack at the moment. Uh, he is indeed. Uh, I'm assuming Digital paired. Yeah, he, he I did. actually missed all of that. Uh, I actually don't remember who my, who was my rival from last week. It was, it was, it was someone that I just beat me around Brazil. And I can't remember their game attack to save my life all of a sudden. Me and you had I a don't few know if they're racing. I don't remember that much, but I, I can't remember who it actually was. Oh, I don't remember, but I don't think they're racing this season. Well, they were, but no, they're not. So, unfortunate. Uh, well, so we still, let's just we're still hope that these guys here. can cross the line, get the points, and then we'll move on for this disastrous glitch yet again. Codemasters, uh, like I said, I'm disappointed. I was hoping that this update was going to fix a lot of the problems that they said that they were going to fix, and they haven't. They might as well have just called it the livery update because it's just that. Yeah, pretty much. That is what this is. Uh, we still have got 13 laps to go, so. Hopefully we don't keep getting the safety car because it is slowing this right down at the moment. Yeah, this race is going to slow down a lot. I mean, it's already 20 past 8. So we've already been at this race for quite a while. We've been at this race for quite a while. Still 13 laps to go. I know the laps aren't long, but... Oh, safety car is going in, so here we go. Yeah, the the restart's under in. Elite Ryan here. We're what one board of Elite Ryan as we watch him make his getaway. Let's see how he does. And this is a really weird camera view looking at the inside of the car when I want to be looking at the outside ideally because that's where the other car is. But it's okay. Yes. It's fine. No one's made a new take at this point. But Elite Ryan has not got the starts that we have seen so far this weekend. This weekend? This race. I, I don't know. I'm probably yeah. Either. yeah. We don't run it over a weekend, Ryan. He no. Won't. But it's a Toro Rosso and a Sauber, first and second, which is something you won't see in real life. But credit to the two drivers. That's the beauty the cars of equal cars. There. That is the beauty of equal cars. And you've also got a Haas in third. This is just not a grid that you'll see in real life. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the madness. place you're going to see something like this is Codemasters which... Formula 1. Yes, we do have a Williams in fifth, which is, uh, is I, would, I, would, I would love to say realistic, but it's not. Seventh at most. Points at most. Points at most, yes, actually. Yeah, I'm going to change that. Points at most. Sector 3 has got yellow flags. And that is Mansell who has crashed out of the race. Where did he crash? Oh, oh he's crashed straight into that wall there. Oh, that's unlucky, dude. Unlucky, Mansell. That's we are now left with eight people left in this race. As Brutal Reapers comes into the pits yet again for end plate damage, from what I can tell. But back up the front, we have Elite Ryan who's getting closed down by Janine. I don't know. Jim, 
them in. No, no, no. 518. We're just going 518. Again, closed down by 518. <laughs> um, that's, that's it. We're calling them 518 from now on. They're both I on super soft tyres. The medium compound on this track. When they've got the likes of uh, Digital and Craig Senna right behind them on the ultras that are actually falling off them a little bit, it seems. So, super soft seem to be the quicker tyres, ladies and gentlemen. Who would have guessed? Well, again, I think the cooler temperatures, I think the the harder tyres might come in a little bit more. Yeah, I think that might have something to do with it as well. But Monaco at night, we've got a fantastic view there, the helicopter view that viewed the grandstands in the night. And that looked great. Oh, hello. Hello, Digital's come out of nowhere here. It's now a three-way battle for first place. Digital has now caught up to the rest of the pack. And Michael sent me a message. Let me just have a quick look at this message real quick, see what he said. It's Jimmy, for fuck's sake. Je gem in. Gem in. Oh, okay. Hi. Thanks, Michael. Hi. <laughs> Michael, mate. Michael, look. Look. You're not commentating. Last night was your night. Right? <laughs> We're going to name people what we want to name them. That, he's called 518 now, five... Michael, okay? 518. Yeah, he's called 518 now. Hey, hey, we're gemming it up in here tonight, lads, in Monaco. It's proper gemming oh, it through the... <laughs> loving, it. loving it. Using the name, it's great. But Elite Ryan still uh, has the lead. Digital still hasn't got past second or first yet on the fastest tyre on this track. Elite Ryan, I'd say, is holding off pretty well. He's making his car quite wide, which is probably also making it hard to overtake. And Jimin is just... He's looking at a move, I think. He's just like, oh, how wide is his car? Because it seems to be taking up the entire track at the minute. You called him the wrong name. It's 518. 518, yeah. Sorry, 518. Uh, as I was going to say, as I was going to say, like, in terms of the name, 518 in this, is, in a, is in one of those situations where he's having to attack and defend at the same time. And that's not an easy thing to do, let alone it be around Monaco. It's now four-way battle for the lead, and the safety car is back out. This game is broken. Okay, I don't know how much longer I can deal with this. The safety car is ruining the race. Cody's, fix your shit, please. You said you're fixing the what? safety car. Fucking In fix fact, it. This clearly isn't well, fixed. I'm sure the safety car's been gone like what, like two, three laps, and now it's back again. This is not It might good. be because someone did crash. I'll give it that. Someone did actually crash. I forgot that. Mansell did crash. That's a delay, though. That's very much delayed. So, it's either the safety car's broken or there's just massive delays. Cody's, yet again, I'm finding myself saying, sort your... Yeah. Sort your shit out. I'm going to just say it. I know, I just, it's just, it's not great. It's... Uh, I've got a message oh. from Michael. Nine laps to go, three more safety cars. <laughs> Good prediction yeah. there, Michael. I'll hold you to that. If there isn't three safety cars, how about this? If there isn't three more safety cars, then, uh, then you owe me a pint of beer. I've got a message from Hobo Jenkins saying, 518 sounds better and fucking safety car. I agree. It's agreed. nice to know though that for down. future races that we will not be running the safety car again until they say it's been fixed. But next time, I'm not going to put it in until it's being tested. Because we didn't test it because I had faith in Cody's, today. but Cody's, you have lost my trust. And this relationship is now. Oh, he's broke up with Cody's, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is. This I'm is breaking up with Cody's, news. ladies and gentlemen. Me and Cody's are now having a divorce. This, this is breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the six people that's... watching have just <laughs> found out that I broke up with Code Masters. Oh, it's great. It's great. I just realised that I haven't actually had the chat open, but I've been literally having the stream on full size, but no one's messaged anyway, so it's fine. Someone give some HLG some love. Someone just send me HLG a message saying, we love you, HLG. No, you don't need to do anything. It's fine. <laughs> I kind of wish that Dom hadn't fucked me over so I could be looking at other battles going on while you're looking at the main ones. But, you know, it's fine. We're making the yeah. best of a bad situation. 
I think we've done all right though. I mean, the timing screen in the top left has helped me try and find battles that are happening on track, so that's helped, to be fair. So, Cody's, you've broken loads and loads and loads of things, but you managed to get one thing right at least. Well done. Yeah, the one, the, the, this, this, this is great. As I said before, we just need a thing that's like weather sort of like a uh, thing, like you would have in the race, but like maybe, maybe just above where you know where you've got like uh, where it's like first leap Ryan and then the sector time and that. Maybe just nice a little thing above there. Just yeah. a little thing, just above there, you know, saying like you know it's gonna let you. I don't know, like the next twenty minutes is dry or something, just so we have a rough idea. Or if you could like. Um, do what the drivers can do and press like a button and then talk to like another version of Jeff. I was going to say, what's the weather going to be like? Oh, do you know what? It'd be so good if we could actually have a, a thing where we could talk to someone in the pits, like you know, that's, that's getting good. the information. This would let's go to Green Shandong. What's your try tire strategy opinions for today? <laughs> oh, it'd be great. Oh, I can be... imagine people doing a five stop because it's Codemasters F1 and people are going to keep hitting walls. So I'm going to predict a five stop here today. <laughs> a five stop. Have we actually had anyone had a five stop yet? I think we have, have we not? And I'll have a quick look. We have got Bacon Yum and JJ that have had eight stops. Brutal who's had four. Eyes the Best who's had seven. Craig who's had three. Digital who's had one. 518 who's had four. And Elite Ryan who's had one. So, yeah, people have done in excess easily of five pit stops. Yeah, it's not great. I need to make sure I have some people added so that we can get them in for the podium of pit stops. Uh, that's what I'm calling on, the podium of pit stops. The podium of pit stops. You did the most pit stops in today's race. How do you feel? <laughs> yes. Uh, I have him and I have him. I just the need safety to let the cars come in with, on the restart. I have just noticed. Just they came around the final corner. Elite Ryan sets off the grid. Well, sets off the grid. Sets off the pack. Even that's what I meant to say. In first place, five one eight. Not far behind. Of course, it's not far behind. They just had a fucking V start, Ryan. Come on, start the grid. But Elite Ryan has still got hold of the lead. But it looks like there's actually a bit of a battle between. 518 and Digital. Digital's gone for a move on the inside and they've made a bit of contact with a wall there. That could have ended badly if they had a realistic damage mod on the game, which you can get on the PC. Yeah, just get off Steam. But anyway. Well, <laughs> we're not PC, so we'll just deal with what we've got. Digital is closing on Elite Ryan now, who's on the Ultra Soft tyres. Well, who, uh, Digital's on the Ultra Soft and Elite Ryan's on the Super Soft. I wonder if Digital can get the move done in the next few laps before the safety car V joins us back on track again. Well, I mean... It's very close. Oh, there's a Ferrari spawn! I don't know if you saw that. I didn't see that, I did just miss it, but I did see the yellow flags come out and eyes the best uh, drop to place, I believe. But Brutal Reapers has just been overtaken by Bacon Yum further down the grid. Let's see if we can go to Brutal and see if he can make a comeback from that. He's around the outside. Oh, the two Williams drivers are battling! They're battling! No! Someone William, needs to get the team orders out! Die. Get them to calm down because that looked very close from my point of view just then. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. The two teammates battling for, well, what you'd think would be the, the lead of the race because they don't want to give it up. They're trying to keep their title hopes alive early on in the season. Here. I'm looking at this here. This is so close. Oh my god, there's Team Oda. This stresses me out. <laughs> well, it does look like Bacon Young has got the move done and is pulling away now from Brutal. As Brutal has fallen back by about eight tenths. So we're going to go back up to further up the grid with uh, BST Digital, uh, who's trying to battle for the lead of the race. He's doing quite well. He's managed to get one place off of the restart who was uh, 518. 518 did, obviously didn't have the best of starts and it looked like there's a bit of lag and a bit of contact but it doesn't look like there's any damage. But Digital is coming up behind Elite Ryan. Will he be able to get the move done going up onto the inside of Turn 1? Will he do it? He's taking a look. No, he's thought better of it. Probably a smart choice. Bacon Yum has just set the fastest lap of the race over 1 minute 14.3. 
who is currently sat in fourth place, who's just outside of a podium place, which, which I'm sure he'll try and get from Jimin518. There you go, Michael. Hope you're happy. I have just realised as well, actually. Oh, Digital's gone for a move! Oh, that was a dive! Oh. That was quite dangerous. I'm not going to lie, that looked pretty dangerous from my point of view, but you've got to do them kind of things to uh, overtake your own Monaco, but he made no contact, so it was a clean overtake. Nicely done, Ooh, Digital. That was, that was beautiful, beautiful, beautifully and clean. i just seen that. That was nice. That was very good. Um, I, you didn't notice this because you were watching the battle, but it did say that Bacon Yum uh, set the fastest lap of the race so far. I did just say Bacon Yum set the fastest lap of the race. I did did you? That. I wasn't yeah. really listening, I'm sorry. But ba hang on, I'm going to uh, quickly get back onto Bacon Yum actually, because he's only about a tenth or two behind third place, 518. And they're making a bit of contact. 518 is blocking quite a bit there of the, from the uh, Williams driver. And Craig Senna's now um, separating the two Williams drivers, so there's now going to be a bit of peace between the two Williams drivers, and HRG doesn't have to ask that anymore. Oh, thank God, thank God for that. That's... Oh. But uh, we're going around, looks like, for another lap yet before uh, Bacon Young can get the move completed. I think it's just a matter of time as he is on the faster tyre, and he did catch quite quickly. Well, he is being hunted down by Craig Senna at the same time, so will he attack or will he defend? Could be quite interesting. And Craig's gone for a move! That was a bit of a dive, Craig. That maybe was a little bit naughty. That wasn't quite as good as we've seen before. Oh, payback! Bacon, you've got payback! Oh, the Williams driver's hit into him! He just got absolutely gangbanged on by the two Williams drivers. I'm sorry, Craig, but that is a bit of a payback there, boy. You made contact and they made contact back. You don't mess with the Williams boys. Oh, yeah, no, <laughs> don't mess with the Williams boys, mate. They will fuck you over. <coughs> Craig, who's doing fairly well in fifth place, in my opinion. If I remember rightly, he's not a big fan of Monaco. I don't think anyone really is. If they say that they like Monaco, then they're not lying. If, they, if anyone says they like Monaco, I turn around and go, are you human? Us. Are we human? Like, or are we dancing? Our sign is vital. My hands are cold. I mean, great singing there, mate. <laughs> Brain's got talent worthy. Think of my day job, hey? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, Wait, that, that reminds me, I have got work tomorrow. Okay. Oh, have you but now, Anyway, back to the race. Back to the sector race. One sector one and sector two race. is yelling. Oh, the Williams has crashed. Williams has crashed. No. No. Bacon Young has put his car into a wall. Unlucky. He looked like he was doing so well today as well. That was unlucky for him. Well, two and a half laps to the end. This oh. Jimin is right behind Elite Ryan right now, who I think is having a few issues as he is now five seconds behind BST Digital. So there must have been a mistake somewhere. But can the Sauber driver overtake the Toro Rosso driver? Well, this is the important question. Oh, Craig has crashed! Craig has crashed as well. There's only five people oh. left in this race. We are down to Bye. the final five drivers. Unlucky, Bye. Craig. Bye. Five. Um, six. Five. Craig's just crashed. Five. You are right. Never mind. For some reason, then I miscounted. Never mind. Ignore me. My mass is great. Well, uh, from what I can tell, there is no safety car at the minute, so Jimin is closing down on the Elite Ryan still. I don't know if it's going to get moved on before the safety car comes out because I guarantee there's going to fucking be one because it's Code Master. Actually, no, it won't be. Uh, at this point, I don't know if it's going to happen. This close to the end of the race, I don't think uh, safety cars come out. It won't. So, I think. But Digital so just needs to remain composed and he's got this race won because he's got a seven second gap to second place. And we're watching the battle for second place as it stands at the moment. I do feel sorry for Craig though because it's only like Two or three laps left in this race, and he completely went cooked. It's the same for Bacon Yum, unfortunately. It's that close to the end, and that was their race over. I can imagine they're going to have a little bit of rage on them there. Yeah. Oh, Jimmy has got a good run on Elite Ryan. Elite Ryan has dropped a place. Oh, he's crashed! Elite Ryan should have probably backed off there, in my opinion. But Elite Ryan has put the car into a wall, and he... Is he at the race? No, he's just in Ghost. But he's struggling to get that car turned around. This could be quite funny to watch. <laughs> he struggles to get that car turned around, but he is on his way. 
He's going to have to pit though for um, some new body parts on his car. Well, but it doesn't look like we'll be seeing much more action after that, to be honest, because we're on the final lap of the race and the smallest gap is 1.6 sec seconds. So I'm going to go on board right now with BST Digital until we see something else happen. Who has done very well to be leading this race. He is the defending world champion and it looks like he's heading that way to uh, be battling for the championship once again in F1. Now there is two divisions, of course, F1 and GP2. But whereas last season there was only one division. But even still, nonetheless, he has had a fantastic drive out here today at Monaco. Uh, I think luck's been on his side a little bit. The fact that we've had the safety car glitch God knows how many times. Even though Cody said they were going to fix it. God damn you, Cody's. But he comes around the final couple of corners. Oh, he got close to that wall though. Oh. And he's coming down the final straight for the final time. BST Digital has won the Monaco Grand Prix. Well done to him indeed. 518 is coming around the final corner now as well to take second place. And I think he's, he's done really well today. He's been in the thick of it all race. So that, well done to that him. That debut was a very good debut there. That's, uh, I think that's the extent of what we can say. Yeah. And we're just watching now Elite Ryan being the final driver to cross the line. Nice and lonely in that ah, little so tour also. As we're doing that. Uh, in fact, I was about to start inviting the top three, but we don't know about penalties yet, so this could mix things up. Elite Ryan comes around the final corner. Well done, mate. You're the final car to finish, but still, that's fifth place. That's quite a lot of points in the championship for last place. Well, it's not last um, place, but you know what I mean. Fifth place, well done, Elite Ryan. Everyone who finished the race, well done. Everyone who didn't finish, I do feel your pain. I know what it's like. But that's uh, the life of racing, hmm. unfortunately. That is, unfortunately, how things go sometimes. Uh, I'm just trying to find the top three now so we can get them in. I've just spoken to Toto Wolf. Toto Wolf is very happy that he won the race, or well, that his driver won the race. And as you see them celebrating with the champagne, Look at that. Again, the cameraman wear. That poor, innocent cameraman. All three drivers on the podium are British. Go on, Great Britain. Oh, yes. This is what I like to see. As you can tell, Julian Palmer did not attend today's race, but at least we've had him in our minds. I mean, have we had him in our minds, though? Yes, because he deserves to be in Formula 1. Carlos Sainz does not deserve that drive. But nonetheless, that's not what we're here for. Have you invited peoples? Uh, I'm currently working on that. Uh, 518 and JJ, where are they on my friends list? This is the question. Uh, 518 and JJ Gamer, there we go. I have invited all of the podium runners. Uh, as so, we wait for them to that join. was a very interesting race about Monaco. We hope you enjoyed watching it and we're getting the people into the uh, party right now. Don't forget to tick your name to add your voice into the live stream. It's then when it comes to interviewing you, we can actually hear what you're saying instead of just talking to ourselves and not like complete idiots. If, Even though we are idiots anyway, if anyone else that's joins. not the point. This is if anyone else joins. Uh, if they don't join, we will ask Digital uh, a couple of questions to round things out, I suppose. Uh, well, you know... What digital's here then? What did you? Uh, oh, there's five one eight. Uh, okay, well I'm going to start the question anyway. Digital, how did you do in today's race, man? How, well, how did you think you did in today's um, race? Safety car's think... broken still, but other than that, how did yeah. you do? I think it's one of the best races I've ever done. Personally, I think because I, I, I dude, done. I'll get to you. I'll get to you dude, this is, dude, this is a podium talk, dude. We're doing like an interview, dude, and then we'll get to you, dude. Yeah, yeah. Chill. Uh, but, yeah. So I done a one stopper. Uh, yeah, he was Michael one of the few that people that did. I think only two people did a one stop in that race, so well done to you on that one. Yeah, yeah and then when I came yeah. out on the ultras, I, I was in uh, third. Uh, we were struggling to overtake them, but I took them, both of them in the same corner, which I thought was clean overtakes. I don't think it was. I forced them out wide, one of them, but I think that I left them enough room. Uh, and then the, after um, I the just right had the pit. sector two. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I saw that. That was a very good overtake. I was impressed with that. That was a good move. <laughs> yeah, I took them both yeah, to the same corner. 
I was just waiting because I didn't want to crash or like cause them to lose any points. So I was just taking my time because I knew I had the pace. Uh, obviously, um, the Reapers um, in the safety car, I think everyone broke. So I broke and I think he went into the back of my car. So he had to pit for a front wing, I think. But I recorded that just in case he tries to say it's my fault. But yeah, I thought it was a really good race. So uh, you got another win to uh, try and defend your championship in um, in this uh, racing league. You know, you're confident that you've done well today to defend your championship later on into the season? Uh, yeah, I think um, it's a big boost in my championship because the um, first couple of races obviously didn't go well. But since we've been doing it, I think there's been problems, but I feel like it's, the problems are starting to generally go away. So, yeah, I think I'm really happy. Yeah, I think some of the problems... Air, eh, voice, hello. Some of the problems are getting fixed on Formula 1, but the problem is is that there's still a lot of issues. For example, like the safety car, and someone also got disqualified yeah. for no reason. I think it was in qualifying, someone got disqualified for leaving yeah. the lane. Yeah. Which was a bit, a bit of a <laughs> weird one. <laughs> But well done to you for well winning to today's race, well. dude, honestly. Thank you. Well done to you. I hope you go on to do great things and have some more great battles because it was quite fun watching today. I'm going to go to Jimin518. Sorry if I say your name wrong. I've been calling you 518 pretty much the entire, entire live stream because I never knew how to pronounce your game attack, so I do, do apologise. <laughs> but you was, you help, you was all over the grid today, man. You was right at the back at one point, then you was right at the front, then you was at the back again, then you was at the front. Did you have a bit of bad luck at some points, or was it just your strategies? Yeah, we ha unfortunately we had a safety car glitch with that, so uh, that did kind of suck. But there was a lot of people who crashed out anyway. I think we only had like four finishers, which um, is probably one of the lowest I've ever seen on the Formula One race. Five. Oh, was it five we finished with? <laughs> but that I believe that was your first race in ATA. Am I correct with saying that? Yeah. Oh, second place. Not a bad debut. Can you complain of that? Second place. Ah. Did you enjoy yourself there? That's the you main thing. Yourself. Did you enjoy yourself here? Yeah. Well, the next race is Canada. Do you think you'll be able to pull out another podium around Canada? Or do you think this might be a, a fluke? No. No. Don't like Monaco, ladies and gentlemen. The man who got second place doesn't like Monaco. <laughs> Does not like Monaco. Breaking news. Breaking <laughs> the second place oh, podium okay. position does not like Monaco. <laughs> That's one to go down the record books. I don't like Monaco, but I got second place. Fuck. <laughs> but yeah, does wow. anyone else have um? Well, oh, HRG, do you have anything to ask? Uh, uh ah, JJ Gamer, just in time. Look at this beautiful time. You can ask you can ask uh, JJ these questions because I don't know what to ask. So. <laughs> Uh, neither do I, but we'll we'll work this one out. If you could include your audio, uh, as long as you actually have a mic, um, so we can get this podium speak. Um, so yes, JJ, uh, for most of that race, it seemed like you weren't really anywhere from what I could tell, and then suddenly at the end of the race, you were one of the the five survivors and onto a podium spot. Uh, how how did you manage that? Yes, as you said, that was your debut race. So, two debut races here onto a podium position. I mean, can't really complain. Uh, was there any like sort of tire strategy you had going in, or were you sort of changing it on the fly for this race? Oh, 
I will see the safety card. I will just come in. And here. Well, it seemed to work out for you, so uh, good race uh, and good result. Uh, do you want to close us out then, Ryan? What? Do you want to close us out? Yes. Yeah, well, awesome. don't forget though, next Thursday on this channel, we will have GP2 around Canada, and then we'll have, on the Friday, you'll have F1 of Canada. It'd be interesting to see how that goes as um, the track is a bit more wider and you actually have room to actually run off the track and actually go into a barrier and not destroy your car. So, uh, yeah, it could be quite interesting to see who comes out on top, but there's only one way to find out, and that's by tuning in this time on Thursday. Well, not this time. 7 o'clock on Thursday, 7 o'clock on Friday to find out who wins. Thank you for watching this live stream and see ya!